that the following tutorial we are going to learn how the seal water temperature affects to the capacity of the vacuum pump. My name is Kari Yu Kokkonen. Welcome. All of these applications you can find from our home pages. The mission of KGU Engineering is to identify feasible energy saving improvements from paper production lines. And all of these applications themselves can be found from our App Store. From our App Store, you can find different kind of applications to benchmark electric energy consumption of paper making line and applications to identify energy saving possibilities at the paper making line. The applications have been divided in different sections. At the first section, you can find benchmarking applications. When we scroll down, we can find section 2, from where we can find the general purpose applications. And finally, in section number 3, we can find paper machine vacuum system applications. And now we are going to talk about application number 3.1. Effect of seal water temperature to the vacuum pump capacity. This application can be downloaded free of charge in two different formats, Microsoft Excel format and in LibreOffice format. Simply load one of these files and execute it to do the estimation. This application consists of two tables, description table and input results table. At the description table, you can find a short description of the program, how it works and what are the basics of the calculation. From the input and results table, we can find required input data and calculated results. Okay, let's look at the required input data for the application. At the first, you can give general paper machine data if you want. That means paper machine name, location and machine number. For the calculation, the following input data is required. Input temperature of the air from the paper machine. In average, according to our measurements, it is normally between 33 and 40 degrees Celsius. It depends a little bit on the process temperature and the paper machine hole temperature. But in a typical case, 35 degrees Celsius, 95 Fahrenheit is a pretty good starting point for the calculation. Secondly, the seal water temperature can be given in two different operating conditions. Let's, for example, calculate two different situations. One situation where the seal water temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, 77 Fahrenheit. And another situation where this temperature is very high, let's say 50 degrees Celsius, which equals about 122 Fahrenheit. And let's also suppose that this mill situates more or less at the sea level, so we have normal atmospheric pressure around the vacuum pumps. When we scroll down, we can find out that the capacity of the pump varies depending on the vacuum level. In case seal water temperature would be the same as incoming air temperature, capacity would stay 100% all the time. That would mean that no condensation, no evaporation takes place inside the pump. However, in case seal water temperature is low, lower than the incoming air temperature, certain amount of condensation can take place inside the pump. For example, 
If vacuum level is 50 kilopascal, we can read in here that the pump capacity is maybe about 5% higher compared to the situation if no condensation would take place. However, if we look at the yellow curve and look at the situation, what happens in case seal water temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, this kind of situation can take place in some mills when sealing water is circulated through a cooling tower and in case there are problems in the cooling tower and cooling is not big enough, the temperature of seal water increases and increases and can go up to 50 degrees. And in this situation, for example, if we look at the vacuum level of 50 kilopascal, we can see that the pump capacity is about 85% compared to normal running conditions. And the capacity decrease, the more, the higher is the vacuum. Of course, at low vacuum levels, the effect of temperature to the pump capacity is smaller. At the second picture below, we can see exactly same results, with the only difference at that now the vacuum is indicated instead of kilopascals in here in inches of vacuum. And seal water temperature is shown in Fahrenheit. Thank you for your interest.